Hey guys, in this video, let's see how to do the spatial data reduction using uh, pixel purity index for the Hyperion imagery. So, as usual, we need to go to the NV software first and we will load up the minimum. We will load up one by one. Otherwise, uh, that's not necessary. Okay. That uh, MNF file will be there and reflectance imagery is also will be there. Okay, let's do the pixel purity index. So, for the pixel purity index in the toolbox, just type pixel purity index PPI pixel purity index and uh, we may give that MNF file as an input, not a reflectance imagery. Okay, just give okay. And in this thing, uh, the default number of hydration will become around 10,000 and hydration per black is 250 and threshold factor 2.50. It will be automatically done and you may save the output where you want to save it and just give OK. That's it. So, in you can able to see in the box you can able to see that one uh, graph sheet will become in that uh, graph sheet you can able to see that total pixel will come on one unit and uh, PPA addition will come on at the side and uh, you can able to see that uh, number of iteration is coming from uh, it's coming going to going to 250 now only it's going it reached 250 so it will reach up to 10,000 so you need to wait for some more time okay so please wait for some time after that i will explain how the how to utilize the pixel purity index for your end member extraction process okay so please wait for some time so still it's running on your background so why we are going to do this pixel purity index and uh, minimum noise fraction means we need to set the training sample for the classification, right? For this training sample, uh, they will uh, say that uh, training sample uh, set setting is, they will uh, say that technical term is N member extraction. So, for this N member extraction only, they are doing the pixel purity index and uh, N member uh, minimum noise fraction technique also. Using this spatial and spectral data reduction, they will get very pure pixels information only. From this very pure pixel information, we can able to compare this pixel information from uh, with our base spectra. Base spectra uh, like uh, we are uh, taking any kind of samples uh, like uh, water samples, otherwise rock samples, otherwise vegetation or anything. Then in every any for a, any kind of samples uh, they are in that spectral signatures they already saved in the EHG spectral library and JP spectral library and JHU spectral library also but definitely it will not help for us because in our Indian condition the climate condition is very and they are developed for the US condition only so for that thing you need to develop your spectral signature for your particular samples first then only you can able to do the end member extraction is possible. Otherwise, you will do that. Uh, you will take the samples, but uh, you can't able to justify. It may be a rock sample, otherwise a water sample, otherwise it may be a vegetation sample. But definitely, we may from the spectral signature of the flag, we can able to say that it's a vegetation. But what kind of particular type of vegetation? It's a crop. It's a grass. It's a palm tree. It's a coconut tree. What kind of uh, particular vegetation we can't able to? Uh, we we need to extract. Uh, we need to know the exact uh, spectral signature. Uh, what what is that means? Definitely, we need to uh, do the uh, spectroradiometer uh, spectroradiometer analysis also. If for my study, I am doing the mineral sampling analysis in the uh, southern part of Tamil Nadu in uh, Trinavel districts. So I am taking the limestones uh, mineral samples 
and i am going to the uh, uh, i am going to the geological survey of india bangalore in kumar swami layout in that region only i am taking the spectral signature using the spectral radiometer up to 3 micrometer using that uh, uh, base spectra only i just compare my uh, thing and i just compare the image spectra spectral base spectra compare with the image spectra and i am taking the n member extraction so if you are going to do any kind of classification mean definitely you need to generate some small amount of uh, base spectra otherwise definitely in this uh, hyperion imagery it will give the number of spe uh, number of uh, very good uh, spatial and uh, spectral pure information in the spectra uh, you can able to see that lot of variation will be the lot of uh, common will become so without base spectra you are going to do the classification job means it's very difficult and you can't able to do the thing in the precise manner it's not possible so first you need to get this base spectra also this is a major thing the hyperia image process so now it's going to finish for some more time and uh, now you can able to see that the hydration is going to complete around 10000 in the x axis uh, 99 come on yeah now it is finished so you can able to see the graph sheet definitely it won't help for you so just close it so you can able to see the black and white imagery yeah. This is the PPA imagery, pixel purity index data. So here you can able to see some black and white image. It's not an image, just a group of pixel combined with a white and black color. So in this white color, it represents the purity, and the black color means it is impure 